Today, we will see how to write a script for lunar orbit. Before we start coding a script, what are the requirements for a lunar orbit? The first thing what we require is, we require a backdrop. Then we require a sprite sun. Then we require a earth also has a sprite. And then I require a costume for earth that is the moon. So by default in PictoBlock interface, we have a sprite whose name is Toby. Do we really require Toby in lunar orbit? No. So what we have to do? We need to delete a sprite Toby. So we'll go to the PictoBlock interface and we will delete a sprite Toby. Then we'll add a background. Can you see? Towards the bottom at the right, choose a backdrop. Click on backdrop. Come down. Search for a star or space. I take a space backdrop. Then I choose a sprite. Okay. Towards the bottom again. Click on it. And in search type sun. In search you can type sun. Click on it. Then I require earth. Again choose a sprite. Click on choose a sprite. Type earth. Select earth. Okay. So by default we have a size of the sprite is 100. By default the size of the sprite is always 100. So the sun is also 100. Earth also is 100. So I'll just reduce the size of the earth. I will make it 70 and I press enter. Okay. So now click on sun. Okay. Check the costumes. We have one costume. Click on earth. We have again one costume. So I want to give uh, one more costume for earth. That is the moon. So I choose a costume. Click at the bottom. Can you see? And search for a moon. I don't think I have a moon, you know, okay, has a sprite, okay, search something or I take a ball, okay, or I take a ball, search if it is there, there, can you see this baseball, yes, it's so something looking like a moon, right, I take it, click on it, rename it as what is it? It is said baseball. Okay, the costume name is baseball. I rename it to moon. Okay, I rename it to moon. Click on earth again. Okay, so under earth we have moon. Okay, students, moon and earth. Okay, go to blocks now. Now we start coding for sun. Okay, click on sun sprite. Okay, and we start coding for sun. Go to events and I want a green flag. When a green flag is clicked, why we use green flag? So that the program is executed. So we, the program can be executed. Go to motions and I say x and y axis 0. I say x axis 0, y axis also 0. And I run the program. My sun will come in the center of the stage. I finish coding with sun. Then I go for earth. Now click on earth sprite. Okay. Now we finish with sun sprite. Click on earth sprite. Under earth remember we have one more costume that is moon. Don't get confused. So we code for earth. We start writing script for earth. So again go to event. And say green flag. Why green flag is used? So that we can execute a program. So do we require a clean slate? No, we don't require a clean slate. I don't want to draw anything. So I don't use clean slate. Then I go to motions and I say x and y axis 
zero. I say x x is zero, y x is zero, and I say point in direction ninety, and I run the program. My earth is come in the center of the stage. Is that yes? I finish with first part, then I go for the second part. I require block. Okay, so I go to my blocks and I make a block. Okay, I name the my block as circle and I add an input steps. Again, one more input radius. Okay, I say. Fine. I want to draw a circle, but it will be a hidden circle wherein the Earth will be moving on it. Okay, so basically it will be a hidden circle. So now, what I do is I go to motions and I say turn one degree. I want my Earth to turn one degree. Then it has to move certain number of steps. So I say radius. Okay, and then I go to looks and I. Select show. Okay. Now I go to control and I search for clone. Come down. Create a clone of myself. Of who? That is the Earth. Okay. Create a clone of myself and wait for certain seconds. And then wait for certain seconds. So I say zero point zero one second and I say hide. Okay. And I say hide okay then what is just to do after hiding it should move i want my earth to move and i give a operator okay minus operator i give i say zero minus radius okay zero minus radius and i call my block I call my block, and I give one more operator. That is steps minus one. I will give. I say steps minus one. Okay, and I bring my radius down. We finish coding for the earth. Now I want to start a clone. Okay, so go to control. And search for when I start a clone. What happens when I start a clone? Okay, it should point in direction. Okay, point in direction. So I give operator over here, and I say multiply by. Okay, I say multiply. What multiply by direction? Multiply by three. I give. Where is direction? I will get. Go to motions. Come down, and you will get. Direction, direction multiply by three. Okay, and I set the size to twenty. I require the size. Okay, so I go to looks, and I say set size to twenty percent. Okay, I'm setting the size to twenty percent. Okay, now I want. Move twenty steps or twenty, no, forty steps. Okay, twenty. So set the size to twenty percent and move forty steps. After moving, it should wait. So go to control and say wait. Wait for how many seconds? Zero point zero zero one. Okay. So zero point. Zero zero one second, and then I go to looks and I say hide. Okay, I want to hide this clone. Okay, and then go to event after hiding. I say delete this clone. Okay, I say delete clone. Then again when I start, okay, when I start a clone, I switch my costume to moon. Switch costume to moon. Okay, switch costume to moon and run the program and see what happens. Now nothing happens. 
why nothing happens because i need to close my script i have not closed my script go to my blocks okay and close my script steps is what 360 that is a circle one circle is 360 and what is the size okay what is the size from the center of the stage i say 100 that is the radius okay and i run the program look look students the earth is moving around the sun wherein the moon is moving around the earth okay so kindly practice students this codes of lunar orbit go through the codes carefully and kindly practice the same thank you students